In this video, we're going to discuss a, a relatively small topic, but one that is important for some questions on the SAT, and that is reciprocals. What is a reciprocal? Uh, you're going to mostly use this in things like coordinate geometry and in maybe some other arithmetic problems. But a reciprocal is basically, if you've got a number x, the reciprocal is just that number over or under 1. So that's just the reciprocal would be 1 over x. So 1 divided by that number. So let's say we had 3. The reciprocal of 3 would just be 1 over 3. The reciprocal of 4 would be 1 over 4. What do you think the reciprocal of 1 half would be? Well, if we just follow the pattern, this is just 1 over 1 half, which we can then as we looked at in the fractions video, we can either divide 1 by 1 half directly, or we can take this and flip it to the top and get 2 over 1, or just 2. Notice that 2, its reciprocal is 1 over 2. So this is, you know, they're uh, complementary. They're, they, go in, they, stu they go from one place, and they end up back in the other when you go in the other direction. You go from 1 half to 2, then 2 to 1 half. Now, what about a weird fraction like 3 over 7? Well, again, you just do... 1 over 3 over 7, which is just going to be 7 thirds. You can probably see the pattern here. The quick way is, when you're looking for the reciprocal of a fraction, is you just flip it. So you change the numerator and the denominator. So something like 9 sevenths, you're going to make 7 over 9 as your reciprocal. You can also do this with negative numbers. So let's say we have negative 7 over 14 or 13. That is just going to be, well, negative 13 over 7. You just flip it and you keep your negative. Uh, and that's about it for reciprocals. Uh, well, what about a, a, a mixed number like, say, 4 and a half? Before we can find the reciprocal of this, we've got to turn it into an improper fraction. Now, how do we do that? I showed you this in the last video, but to remember, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we get 9 over the original 2, and then we flip this to 2 over 9 to find its reciprocal. A couple other notes. 1's reciprocal is 1. So 1 is just going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. Negative 1's reciprocal is negative 1, right? Because that's just going to be negative, or 1 over negative 1, which is just negative 1. Uh, 0 has no reciprocal, because if you think about it, it would be, you know, let's say this was 0 over 1, its reciprocal would be 1 over 0, and this is undefined. So 0 will never have a reciprocal. Uh, I don't think they'll ever ask you about that, but it's just something that uh, you should keep in mind.